working in National Battery Company as a production engineer. This is the second year I am coming here to hear your lecture. And I love to hear your work, uh, lectures. And uh, really I appreciate your memory, this thing. Uh, as you are going from the book to book and version to version, uh, really I uh, love to hear that one. And uh, the present question is regarding peace. The present, uh, if you see the throughout the world, the peace has been uh, reshuffled everywhere throughout the world. See, how to restore the peace using all these religions? Your opinion, please. Thank you. Brother, that's a very good question. That how to restore peace? The peace is being reshuffled. Like I had given a talk, peace, the cry of war mongers. Peace, the cry of war mongers. Those who say peace, peace, the other people are creating the biggest war in the world. So I do agree with you. How to restore peace? Same way. If you know Islam is an Arabic word which comes from the root word salam and silm. Salam means peace. And silm means to submit your will to God. So the best way to acquire peace is to submit your will to Almighty God. So the best way you can acquire peace in this world and the hereafter is to submit your will to Almighty God. So this topic that we had dialogue between religions, whether you're a Hindu, you're a Jew, or a Christian, or a Muslim. I've spoken about common points in all these scriptures. So let us agree today. What is different we can discuss tomorrow, right or wrong? At least we agree there's one God. Let us all of us agree one God, worship him alone, no one is. Let us follow the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad and his teachings. Let us pray to Almighty God. Let us do sajda prostration. Let us give charity. 2.5% of excess wealth every lunar year. Let us, if God wills, go to pilgrimage. Let us abstain from alcohol, abstain from pork, abstain from gambling. At least this can be a starting point. Now, if we follow the commandments of Almighty God and submit our will to Almighty God, you will get peace internally and externally in this world as well as the hereafter. Hope that answers the question. Thank you so much.